shit. I don't you know. know. I, you I, know. I don't know. You know. I see. I, I know. I feel it. Okay, I need to figure out where my app is. Hold. I'm just trying to find my app right now, so give me a second. And now I think we can time ourselves. Unless you don't trust it, Kerry. You better. No, I can break out. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to turn into one. Yeah. Real quick. You can't read it on the board. I, tried, I wasn't able to read it on the board when they wrote it before on the stream. But really, they had a worse yeah, one. You're in within. You're with. It's you're within the view. As long as the one light is not in the view, like it should be fine, right? No, <laughs> you got 24 <laughs> options. Actually, what was that? 27. 28 numbers. options. No, double because cap and not cap. So 28 options. Numbers. 30, 48 options. And capitals are 62. I wasn't going to do the, the math to add the numbers in. There's a lot of different options. Not really. I did it when you were leaving the year. <laughs> it took like four tries. Just to help implement the machine learning script a bit. I don't think he even knew machine learning. He's just brute force. <laughs> I don't. It's just brute force. You can get that shit off GitHub. Almost said grab hub again. I hope I got that right. I really. Is that NGF? Is that what that is? H -head. It's just sad. <laughs> Kevin? What? You're not an expert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice argument, man. I'm really going to extend that one. Okay. Oh, we uh, need to get this round started. Justin watching you debate feels so fucking wrong. What? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm still your judge, so like. That's that just as wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but you've also judged me online before, so I'm kind of used to it. Most people are. Never ends. That camera's not on, right? What? Is it on? Yes. Wait, can they hear what I'm saying right now? Yes. Okay, I was going to say something completely different. But <laughs> good thing I censored myself. <laughs> good, call. good call. Ready? I'm not. Okay. When the Trump administration is taking a step backwards in cybersecurity, eliminating a cyber corner, put the U.S. to yeah, I'm not reading anyone. Gallery 18. The absent cybersecurity leader may believe the United States more vulnerable to Republicans and Democrats. Mary concerned eliminate the, to eliminate the corporate corner position is a major step backwards. And the duty warrants a cyber th growing threat in cyber command directly loses human capital approach to lose strategy. The strategy goes in the wrong direction. Roger 17. Cyber has something to dig a problem. The levels of trash and look. Threats and levels of malignant activity facing cyberspace and growing, growing those threats come from state and non-state actors. Probably the U.S. scam for billions are in China, North Korea, especially Russian threat state actors. Because we're just going to take you hard, moving capital approach, doing business, losing strategy and plan. The United States government will use cyber command to implement machine learning intrusion detection systems to protect critical water infrastructure. Next is going to be solvency one. Machine learning is key to understanding, preventing, and protecting from cyber attacks. Ultimates are heavily dependent on cybersecurity. Professional will find it difficult to keep up with the work. Fire Lee and Kane at seventeen. 
Next, we're constantly under attack. More networks are protecting devices, spreading logs, and tracking information regarding activity. Unfortunately, fans hide or hide their footprint. Additionally, in Maryland activity is far more challenging for professionals to handle. New alerting methods are technology labor, and this is machine learning offers a promising results in dealing with security events. And machine learning has shown to have a 90% success rate and reduce the amount of time it takes to secure a network for linking into 17. The multi performing high accuracy model identifying and pro providing response to security events. And the cyber command threat, cyber threats will only increase in the future. We need to adopt better technology to handle the bot attack for linking into 17. The great cyber software servers involve the critical and present operation. They adapt and connect to device equipment conventional. Security measures running here means security personnel incapable of defending entire networks. Machine learning acts, of course, multiplier and general IDS systems are not adequate for facing new cyber threats. So upgrading IDS systems are better to defending emergency situations. Lobus 13. So, typical IDS systems are determining general purpose networks and needed introducing such elements of context and sound supporting besides the community and instructions of great need. Providing IDS intelligence and automatic capabilities in order for them to respond rapidly, effective emergency situations, especially in isolated scenarios. And machine learning aids and IDS systems preventing uh, cyber attacks on critical infrastructure in 8 or 16. Cyber turn then your granola infrastructure become more sophisticated and harder to attack. Traditional ideas were not to tie to the cyber attack machine learning techniques bring a necessary complement to IDS is detecting cyber attacks. The drag is in real data sets, primary water distribution systems and brands. And advantage one is water. On the Trump administration is not focused on improving infrastructure in African American communities. Al Gore 17, uh, uh, American society and civil engineering, American infrastructure D plus grade, and the group focus on listening infrastructure major in African American communities. African and black infrastructure results in failing grade and proposing racial segregation in alignment to groups to under invest in underdeveloping infrastructure, restating to military minority groups in uh, African Americans supposedly needed infrastructure investment. The Trump administration is not going to take it seriously in addressing African Americans and environmental racism disproportionately affects people of color due to proximity to treatment, water plants, follow the Lord 18. Communities are constantly primary people of color are disproportionately affects the burden national water and waste problems. And racist information likely to explode environmental hazard. People of color are more likely to be water counterparts in the later news, sewer, which claim plants to manipulate hazard water landfills and the environmental experience, existing inequalities, environmental racism, refers to many policy practices, destructive destruction, effective disadvantages, individual groups, and communities based on race and color. And black communities are seen as disposable devaluation can be seen through the shrieking investment in critical infrastructure policy 16. Abandonment can be seen in the shrieking investment in critical infrastructure and those are no rattly devaluation simulating to the simulation area that black residents are considered three of outcasts, underground threat, and racist tar Russia targets African Americans through cyber attacks and building racial division. Marks 19. The burden over to alluring yet another in voters and black American priority those bring on their borders and research are found the Russian effects and targeting African Americans more so this case is and previously known in fact more than known that black communities are the top target and environmental racism is the evaluation of black communities black communities are no longer valuable this um, disposable environmental racism magnifies all aspects of racism policy 16 it is no accident that you use surplus population is supposed to be non-white and devaluation risking global um, bodies and certain features of global capitalism for centuries the racist capitalism captures this and uh, actual capitalism exploiting culture and social destruction disappearances race gender region and nationality and environmental racism manifests you don't push the unseen gender Genocide African Americans, RC18. Environment degradation endangers everyone in population is your to continue to impact more heavily than the other black the people targeted by racism is devaluation and genocide over a certain period of time, climate, pollution, climate change, and environmental degradation. People are generally lack the resources to move the perception and the voice of the people and largely marginalize, including the mainstream environments and movement and challenge racism and classism is all welcome to those populations. And iron and water leads to dehumanizing health conditions is already in back. You can vote on. Laura 17. Uh, <coughs> iron, the drinking water classified second town in iron offers uh, bacteria and feed off those environments and those in small organisms harmful and disintegration, serious in health and can be developing, over, including iron overload. These affect millions of people in the United States. Iron overload can lead to liver health, pre damage damages, well as diabetes. And the app is not saying we solve for racism, it's simply an acknowledgement the near liberal state. The app challenges all aspects of racism, policy 16. All the full knowledge are required to remember racism to exist a cruel part of eliminating the logic in the near liberal state. The task of racist logic and better than many decisions making the means acknowledging the degree in which racism ideology manifests economic practices and structures. And, and racism is already dehumanizing. Race ideology is for the black body to Really after he really thinks those optics and breaks down the war between the haves and have not walker 17. Racism is already bound the grip to the markets have have not reached structure enhance away everything because we seek to evaluate the world and our building optics tanks are consequences about the violence against to folks and render invisible and the body count continues to rise and slow violence is inevitable and exponential. We refer to those over flashpoint exponential violence in Nixon 11. We are we need to rethink slow violence and violence is supposed to cross the violence and consumer conventional events and manually exposure any spec role. We need to engage in violence and neither spec role nor intervention, but rather incremental. We need to engage in violence and visible slow violence and has some advocate for invading African weapons and mass destruction, proposing with a fall another conventional dimension of violence, advocating invading countries. With mass forms, slow motion toxicity requires rethinking and accepting assumptions of violence about the slow violence. Slow violence is exponential operation to major threat multiplier. And with that, I'm open for browse. Let's see. All right. What's machine learning? Machine learning, well, this instance, it's more blog management, so it's able to detect when an intrusion is happening in the IDS systems, track that, and then provide a um, good response to that security. Okay, is the, de is the technology already developed enough or do we need to continue to develop it? Um, I'm saying that we need to implement this form of machine learning. So yeah, the government, well, the military does some things with machine learning, but they've never been taking it serious. Okay, um, on the advantage, the first argument that you make is essentially that Trump administration is not focused on improving infrastructure in African American communities. How does the plan in its individual instance 
create a mindset change, mindset change in like, the We're Trump saying that African American infrastructure is mostly doing through water infrastructure, and us implementing it in water infrastructure to protect them is a shift away and shifting the right policies to Sure, but how does your plan affect the Trump administration's future policies? That's goals? just uniqueness. We're saying that we're going away from the condition of the status quo. Okay, well, you don't claim any offense, like, for shifts in the future administration. You can only resolve, like, you're only resolving instances of racism. I can't predict the future of what Trump is going to do, but I'm saying this is a good policy and we should be moving in sure. that direction. Okay. Um, what's, the, what's the impact, like, uh, Are there multiple, or is it just one? There's multiple. Can you explain? Can you tell me all of them? Um, yeah. So I guess the policy would be the critical, saying that all racism manifests all other impacts. So it's like the root cause for these impacts. Next, the RC evidence talks about the genocide that's going unseen, and next is going to be the um, Lord 17 card that talks about iron overload, which causing health condition, which causes death of million African Americans. And then lastly, the racism from the Walker evidence that says that racism is the biggest impact and we should prioritize that over everything else. Also, the framing of the Nixon 11 that indicates that we should be looking at slow, violent impacts instead of the flashpoint. But I don't know what else you want for that. Okay, let me ask you. Um, Okay, so there's like a lot of perceptual arguments in the advantage, like specifically about how like communities are seen as disposable and status quo. Like, are you able to resolve any of that with the plan? So that's what the Paul Do evidence, the ninth card, is indicating. We're not saying that we're solving for racism. We're simply acknowledging the neoliberal state that is causing these impacts to happen. We're saying to be able to pass effective policies, we have to acknowledge the systems and break through those. So I can't just pass a plan without realizing what the systems are doing. Okay, so it's like the acknowledgement of the F. That yeah. creates the perceptual Acknowledging thing. it and investing in a form that would be protecting critical infrastructure on a disposable group of people. Okay, and what critical infrastructure do you protect? Water. Okay. What does that specifically entail? Um, we're implementing intrusion detection, well, we're implementing machine learning and intrusion detection systems and water management pipeline systems. So we stop attacks from happening on those systems. Got it. That can range from a lot from like Increasing pumps, turning off pumps, changing chemicals in them, a bunch of stuff. Okay, all right, I'm starting to prep right now. I'm switching you over when you do that. They can see you. They can see you. Well, they're seeing me clowning on you. Right. So. Yeah, they're going to clown on you. <laughs> Do you have paper? Yeah. Do I have like one sheet of paper? out here in California. <laughs> You're going to think they need a buffer. I know I would. I'd be like, there's something wrong with this street. <clears throat> Should have let me know. I would have sent a link to my mom. No, I can't. I was gonna say you have my mom on Facebook. What the fuck?
Is that a rule? No, it's based on how it feels to you. Really? Just saying, usually those last speeches, Facebook's a fail. Well, they don't do it. <laughs> You got some weird picture of what you think the community is, Justin, but it's just a bunch of memes. Just all on the internet. This is gonna be on Facebook. No one's watching this. I'll I'll take this to the kids. <laughs> Don't be him. Be a good competitor. Alright, we got forty-five seconds left. So am I right about the criticism? You were spot on. I knew it. You left me with no choice. What? <laughs> what do you mean I left with no choice? <laughs> I affirmed the res. <laughs> but okay, let me download this thing. I'm really curious to know if this kid is going to do it. Oh. Uh huh? Oh shit. Our schnitzel. <laughs> Children are watching. You ready? Okay. First off, it's theory of interpretation. Protect means to shield from exposure, injury, damage, or destruction from Merriam Webster. Where shield means to provide with a protective cover or shelter from Merriam Webster. Violations. One, the plan does not shield critical infrastructure from exposure with offensive measures. Two, the plan only prevents damage to critical infrastructure through effects that will occur indirectly as a result of the plan. Three, the plan does not provide protective cover or shelter for critical infrastructure. And four, the act does not indicate a critical and imminent causation of damage or destruction to protect against in the YC. If no such damage or destruction is currently happening or is certain to happen, then the act does not protect critical infrastructure. If there is a chance that no threat exists, there is violation. And five, the act only implements machine learning but failed to actually protect water standards. The first is predictability. Without predictability, there is no way for the next to engage with the AF and clash creating good debates. The second is prepping ground skew deviating from the topic means they won't have enough good arguments for acting against the app. Where yes, the app gets infinite time to construct their case in 30s limits with no limits on what app plan can do. They can literally do anything they want, which destroys any access to the ground and guts topic specific education. The voters' first fairness this is the most important issue in the round because you can't debate it for basis and fair and people will drop out at the activity if, if abuses constant fairness is the internal link to education because you can't learn anything in the skewed round. Second is education. Education is the reason debate exists in the first place and helps us benefit society with our knowledge and guard in debate. And TSA priority because you have to know the rules of the game to have debate before you can play. Prefer competing interpretations because it maximizes theory education and limits treasure dimension, which is bad for both fairness and education. And drop the debate or not the argument because the debate damage to the round is already done. It will turn on topical plans in the future. The framework. First, absent interrogation, all policy options are doomed to fail. Dylan Reed, 2000. Policy actors formulate the novel problem stations around that they seek to sell these data. Any encounter with likely problems has re problematization of problems is constrained by the institutional and ideological investments surrounding them. Second, the problems when the by the sheer difficulty of challenging the inescapable ontological and epistemological assumptions that go into their very formation. Yet, serial policy failure compels them into a continuous search for the new analysis that will extract them from a priori, which they constantly find themselves in a mass. Serial policy failure is rooted in the epistemological assumptions that fashion the ways in which governance problematizes life. And second, failed as an illusion, key education outweighs fairness and predictability, orienting ourselves in the world is much more important because it actually impacts our futures instead of how we do an activity and third the role of the bot is to vote for the debater who best fights acceleration the drive for an unassailable infrastructure is rooted in the worship of speed time conquers spaces we see endless acceleration in the name of a solvency for a problem that will never uh, come which dissolves politics really in 97 the whole point of all this development is to increase the transit speed of people and goods pretty soon resistance forward motion will, speed, will disappear. The current warning of institutional borders echoing the decline of natural bodies that will then be accompanied by the warning of the need to enter the bridge of to the great advantage of the city that is extraterritorial in the age of you know, immateriality of networks and communications is giving up to represent a possible alternative to the party of politics of the age of media communication online of the internet where a network and new electronic highways will achieve global de uh, delocalization of human activity and insertion of the machine between the interactions of the nation state has led to a chaotic acceleration which obliterates autonomy independent of the framework of society. This, this hijacking of subjectivity is done by becoming what constitutes this, FIFO 15. While info technologies are proving an acceleration of the rhythm of information experience, simultaneously the space for physical movement is shrinking. The introduction of the electronic devices in the space between organic bodies is the cause of acceleration of the nerves, vibration up to the point of spasm. It is the link between the subject of enunciation and the cosmos between a body and a surrounding environment. Deterritorialization or de jeopardizes the relation between subjectivity and its environment. The process of subjectification develops within this framework, which reshapes the, com the composition of unconscious flow and social culture. And technologies of speed and power displace cities and have hegemonic militaristic roots. Keller 99. 
The democratic revolution for early on moon involves meaning fabricating speed with the instantaneous form of warfare and communication. The vector indicates the trajectory of the various technologies along a fixed length within a direction, but from no fixed point or first standing trajectory along which goods, money, information, or military apparatuses can flow, including military circuits, territories, the space of the human habitation is expected to be vented and secured and to be invaded and colonized with politics occurring through information circuits. The time of deliberation is obliterated. The generation of modernity involves transition from age and, uh, of, the, of the brake to that of the accelerator. And hegemonic impositions of speed on individuals create a climate for total war, a complete, a complete raising of society, the souls of eviscerated, leaving empty husks of humans, the aftermath of human humanity, Virilio 6. Total war ends with destroying the very soul of the enemy by destruction of their environment. Drama logical processes impose the idea that the two types of the soul, one weak, one indecisive and vulnerable because it depends on the environment, the other powerful because it, is, uh, because it has put its will out of reach thanks to deterritorialization. We cannot exclude from war the problem of will, duality, the multitude of bodies with no soul, living dead zombies possess and uh, imp uh, impose all throughout history, slow motion destruction of the opponent, and the uh, economy of military violence, like getting the human cattle to the ancient soul and herd, the hunter raiders, and modernized militarized the European societies to the proletarians. And the alternative? Vote negative to encapsulate the accidents of the 1AC in a museum. Constant exposure to the accidents of technological advancement reshape individual ontologies away from acceleration. Really, 06. A civilization that sets me DC to work brings accidents and catastrophes on the scene. Society developed at major risk, has the urgent, urgent need to reverse this trend, which consists in exposing catastrophic accidents produced by the techno scientific theory and to establish the opposite approach with the consistent exposing more activity in the accidents that major name of modern, modern progress to avoid an integral accident on a planetary scale. We should right now build the laboratory of cataclysms to techno, the, the technical pro, uh, progress uh, accident museum so as to avoid the accident of substances at the time the infinite of the finite world is coming to an end. And there is an urgent need to assert the knowledge of Marx, the finitude of the finitude of man, just as the ecology marks. Uh, that of his geophysical environment since cinema the time exhibiting itself that's transported ubiquity disrupts the history in the making before our general history has a, a result uh, as a result experience a new type of accident the accident of, of its perception of first hand TV channels competing for viewers to turn the catastrophic accident into a scoop if not indeed a fantastic spectacle it's all to pursue with, pursue with equal vigor and next off Cybersecurity is in a symbiotic relationship with capitalism. The 1ACs aims to conquer cyberspace, maintain class domination, and promote imperialist violence with the Ferdinand of Law 17. Cyber war is a manifestation of the revolutions by which capital renews itself. It is not just war that transforms cybernetic capitalism, but the war creates cybernetic capitalism. Capital technological revolutions are not able to distribute the enabling the rise of imperial and have amongst imperial hegemonies in the United States. Cyber war is interesting to nuclear weapon development and the defense system to gain the United States strategic support superiority of the USSR, cut the card of the USSR, and the securitization of critical infrastructure as a tool to reproduce the capitalist structure. McCarthy 11. In conceptualizing cybersecurity and critical infrastructure, protection is public good. The division between public and private is operative. The analysis of the state as a unitary actor in the view of the state and society makes it difficult to understand the purposes of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity PPPs will align between public and private. They appear to undermine the neutrality of the state and the provision of security as a public good. PPPs touch the upon the heart of the liberal political, political order itself. The medical social forces and constitute the national security interests of states. The state is an institution to mediate between different social forces within society, cut the card of society, and capitalist militarism guarantees extinction. This is Mesoverso 3. War at the present phase of historical development is ultimately a moment of foreshadowing destruction of humankind aggressively imposing the will of one power over the one powerful state over all the others is absurdly camouflaged as a purely limited war leading to other open-ended limited wars the weapons available for waging wars of the 21st century are capable of exterminating not only the adversary but the whole of humanity cut the card of humanity the first alternative is to refuse the action in the face of the crisis presented by the affirmative and do nothing here's the evidence that says that solves that's Zizek 4. The first act is to succumb to the temptation but to, to act, but to question hegemonic ideological coordinates. When you practice criticism, you also are obliged to say how one should make it better. You cut the card out better. And the second alternative is a secret. To reveal all the methods behind intellectual warfare is to kill the chance of all solvency. Man 96. In critical discourse, it is crucial for combatants not to know their enemy to project intended paper figure distortion against which they can conceive and reinforce their own positions. One identifies one own, own signal in part by jamming everyone else's setting it off from the noise one generates around it. Imagine what might be possible for writing that is not insistently positional and quickly go to the case. There's no way that they're going to be, going to be able to resolve root cause of racism. And second of all, root cause claims are bad because they create tunnel vision and avoid intersectionality. Ready? Yep. Okay, what the heck is this K about? So, wait, the first one? There's multiple. Oh, news to me. Yeah, so what's this first one about? <laughs> the first one is Virilio. It basically just says that your drive and desire to constantly accelerate the development of technology is uniquely bad because it integrates technology and the non-human subject into the space where the human subject exists. And then how's your alt get rid of that? The alt gets rid of that. So the alternative, if I win this round, we will take the 1AC, the doc of the 1AC that you sent me and post it on a Tumblr page that we've created that we call the museum. It's called the Museum of Accidents and it's essentially an exemplification of exactly what Virilio is saying we should avoid doing. And by doing that, we're saying that in the debate space, we create an exemplification of basically the link, like why we shouldn't be doing this anymore. Okay, 
What's that second K all about? <laughs> That's Cap. <laughs> so, so we're running a Cap K, and then we're running Valeria in the Wild Blood. Yeah. Why are we running multiple Ks? Why not? Okay. Um, this T stuff. What's the violation? The violation, I mean, I read five. I'd say the most, like, understandable one is probably that the plan only prevents damage to critical infrastructure through effects that occur indirectly as a result of the plan. The plan is just to implement machine learning, which ultimately may protect water systems from critical infrastructure or complex catastrophe attacks, but, like, the plan in itself doesn't do anything. So where's the actual violation? Isn't that, This sounds like a solvency issue. I mean, I just read the violation. Do uh, you want me to read more of them? That's fine. I need more of this stuff. For the sake of the doc, where did you actually stop? Uh, I read everything except for the two solvency cards. They're on the very bottom. All right. And I cut two cards, I think. So this thing that's just titled one and sees the second criticism, right? What? The thing that's just titled one and sees the second criticism in here? Yeah, sorry about that. So this isn't really, it's just applications, two case. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, there's Fiat's illusory type stuff. Yeah. So does that mean we just shouldn't use Fiat? I mean, we're saying that critique education is uniquely better because Fiat creates this role-playing mindset where we don't actually create education based off of our own ontological place in society. We create so is that based off of bad like, for like learning about the state? Like, sure, what, I'd, what I'd say it reproduces bad like structures of education. It creates like this, it constructs this idea that we are constantly in a position of power and like that's how our decision making should be carried out.
30 seconds left in the second half. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. I can only guarantee I know what the hell this is. I can't, I know what the team is. Six minutes, right? Uh, order. It's going to be the topicality. Sorry, I'm trying to find the doc that I just sent to you. Okay. It's going to be the topicality, then it's going to be the framework for the first criticism, then it's going to be the, the first K, then it's going to be the second K. There might be new sheets in between. Just keep them in hand. Yeah, just let me know when you get to that sheet. <clears throat> A lot of this is not the easiest to track, but OK. Good. First on the topicality, I meet the one I seem to utilize to protect and measure a counterinterpretation that DOD defense protecting five groups me. AF is an act of re like reacting to those cyber attacks, DOD 18, protecting counters of five groups and activity handling the positions, protecting personnel, assuming mission oriented, protecting processors and physical defensive measures, and reacting to attacks. I argue that we are doing a reaction. That's what the IDS systems are. We realize that there's an attack happening and we react to it. And, and proper response being I do not violate. Go to the violations here. All of his violations don't actually make any sense. They're all questions of like effects of the plan. That's exactly what the plan is asking us to do. It's asking us to react to something that's happening. Therefore, there's no violation on there. Drop down to the um, standards debate. None of the standards debates actually like make any sense here at the point where I'm actually meeting their interpretation. I mean, there's no reason for you to actually vote here, but on to the, um, dump down to the voters here. One, I want to say reasonability at any point where you feel like this T is literally just a time like it doesn't actually mean anything. You don't vote on this T, but also reasonability counts here. If I can win that my interpretation is the best way to view this round, then you're going to vote here. I argue that mine is less limiting than his and doesn't actually just put a weird or like arbitrary term to what protecting is. And even under his own definition, I'm meeting it away. So you're never going to vote there. Next, go to the criticism or at least the framework of the first K. One, he says that there's absence of interrogation. I argue that he's wrong. You can send across the policy 16 and the Walker 17 cards that both are in an indictment of the state that is already interrogating, meaning that you're not violating on his framework anyways. At best, I'm doing it better than he is. Next, he tries to make this weird argument about the role of the ballot judge. I argue that he doesn't actually give you any reasons why you should be preferring this over like over anything else. Also, this kind of conflicts with this other criticism that's being ran there, meaning there's no really reason, there's no way, there's no real way to actually ever have a role of the ballot here. Therefore, you should probably default to the rules of NFALD that say that we're gonna be preferring this over a net, better, net beneficial paradigm, meaning you should wait, be able to weigh the impacts of the affirmative against this criticism next go to the first criticism drop down to the like link level well, he doesn't give you really any real indication of how this link level is actually unique to the instance. All he says is that we're trying to implement technology, and that technology is bad. One, he already asked me during cross if this technology already exists. I'm saying, yeah, they just don't take it seriously, meaning that the links of all this criticism would have already happened. Meaning the impacts have already should have already been triggered, which they do not. Therefore, there's no reason for you to vote on here. But next, drop down to the alt pr proper. One, perm, do the ethic of the plan, and then, well, do the ethic of the criticism, and then, the, then do the plan. He doesn't give you any real reason why we can't embla like embrace this, like the stopping of acceleration. He's going to try to come up here and give you all these new reasons, but realize that he never articulated any of these reasons. The original speech, he's just going to be able to conflate and pick out whatever he wants on here. Next, go drop down to the alt, like on the solvency. One, your author is creep. Your author is bad, and he even says it doesn't work seriously. Brown seven, uh, Brown eighteen. All the evidence in area and withdrawing the general spectrum towards it, everything, including itself, and does not make it too serious. And final paragraph says, "Do not believe me." In second, the author is, lo is low key, kind of off there. He's saying, he's saying, don't take his pra um, his practical approach to policies. Lear um, twelve. The second hand, the uh, unlearned behavior in foreign technology and organizing weapons struggles, the Buffalo contributes time and exchanging um, one of the ultimate leads to a backlog and DOI culture and overreaching policies and reaching the liberal policies into a room, self-improving prophecy and broke correctly analyzing the correct conjunction and clear evidence opposed to 
structure and strategy and weakening the left crisis and proliferation of new labors and impact and subject to the history of political leading to those wrong duties. Cut card there. Next, the um, the K is contradictory where the fact that he's running two criticisms makes it impossible, meaning you should probably drop one of these criticisms or just drop them as a debater. Um, the rules indicate that you're only getting to, you only get position of, you don't get positions that are contradictory and the fact that his alt is so vague it makes it impossible to ever point out those contradictories. NFA 14. Contributing logical and with the null and negative contribution during the debate and instantly rising and affirmative point out the justice should reject his arguments and um, this is a counter, uh, counter proposal and the name has the same burdency of solvency NFA 14 uh, counter proposal is subject to the same burden of solvency that requires an affirmative meaning that you always going to weigh my AF against this criticism meaning that my AF already outweighs this when all the Walker evidence goes conceded onto the AF next he doesn't actually show you any propensity to be able to solve my um, harms area of my affirmative meaning you're never going to be preferring there next thing to be the counter proposals must yeah counter proposals cannot deal with forms of government or economic system or further study NFA 14 the negation may present any counter proposal not dealing with the government and economic structures or further need for study his entire app like his entire alternative is requiring for further studies but you don't understand what it's doing he's going to come up here and say that yeah we're going to be posting this stuff with the tumblr and all this is going to be investigated and be worried that's how you solve for it but that is exactly the further study we're going to have to wait until after this round to even see this app like this alternative would ever be able to solve this is abusive for the affirmative next you should look to the rules one, I argue that he's running, uh, he's running a top county that's trying to tell you to vote for the rules anyways, but you should probably refer to the rules anyways because it, like you have to be able to do this to run effectively. I'm not reading the card. Next, go to the perms. What perm do both learning about the state is the key to like um, breaking through it. Copeman 18. But effective struggles that have been effective on you blowing imperialism will carrying out only signal ignoring when those truly practicing outside the power and operations and those taking steps in landing in the building, losing new house and those subject to new plot and building materials to recycle from the house, cook card there and combining multiple strategies, the best approach to overcoming oppression. Um, Rogers 02. Postmodern plotism is definitely nonviolence and contributing those unlisted in in individuals and all and members of those non groups and members discourse and experience and the and well necessary to grind the kind of policies contributing to those communities those worlds because card there and perm on the alternative perm do the alt and then the plan two perm do the plan and the alt at the same time three perm do the plan and the ethic of the k two, two prefer the function perm functions because the alt alone doesn't actually solve for any of the lives that are happening on the affirmative meaning that we already resolve for that and you, the fact that yeah, like the links don't really matter here. Next, the all has a time trade off. You're always gonna have like five to ten years to even know if this all ever solved. We're gonna have to wait for this criticism to get like put up on Tumblr to even know if it works. Therefore, you're already gonna prefer the impacts that are happening. That's the Nixon 11 card you're preferring. The slide volume of impacts that are happening there. Next, LD literally says that you can't have counter proposals that do not solve for the harms, which is just not. You never vote there. Next, go to the second criticism. One, go to the link. There's literally no link where he says that because we're not like we're doing the security logic and not acknowledging the racism. That's literally the policy evidence where we're saying we're acknowledging the environmental racism, the capital structure that are going against the African Americans. Meaning, I, I do never actually link to this. Also, go to the all. You can extend across the perms from the first criticism onto the same all. It's the same thing. But next, you, want, I, uh, you can extend across the NFL rule. I guess this is a new sheet. The interpretation I want to see is only allowed one counter proposal uh, violation. They are doing that. Like they're doing more than two. Standards one. The rules of NFL say that you're only getting one, uh, only one instance of being able to do a counter proposal rolling multiple. Mean that we never get be able to debate the world, the debate the actual. Merit of the plan, meaning there's always too much things spreading out the affirmative, meaning they're never able to actually get into a substance debate, which only kills the education the debate. That's gonna be on voters. You should be like dropping multiple, you should be dropping him from the debate with the fact where he's running multiple counter plans. He's gonna be able to kick out one. He skews the affirmative, and this is just an instance of killing education because it's just about who can speed the fastest and destroys all novice debate and debate as a substance of the event. Just upload this real quick. Okay. What is it? Right, well, it's gonna be three on top. Which. Uh, my three. Okay. Um, then Brulio, Cap, and actually.
actually, sorry. I'm going to put case on top. Case on top, then my theory, Virilio, cap. And it, I will sign both to the best of my ability. I know it's a little... Cap's the last one, right? Yeah. Everyone ready? Mm -hmm. No, actually. I'm just making work. You will be voting neg on presumption even if you aren't going to be voting for the theory or either of the case because they fundamentally conceded an argument that was a, a small argument at the very end of my speech that specifically said that you were never able, you're going to be able to re resolve a problem that has, uh, you were never going to be able to resolve the root cause of a problem with a single action. I also say that trying to address and, 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 and specifically address root cause problems is going to create tunnel vision that avoids focus on intersectionality, which is a unique disadvantage to the case. They don't extend anything else on the case, which probably means you can vote presumption on the case alone. Go on to the theory show. Send the Wii Meets. On Virilio. They say that they interrogate and they do it better, but we say that your interrogation is only specifically in the context of uh, water and, 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 and the development of protective infrastructure. We say that we have to interrogate all actions. You specifically have not interrogated your your, your connection to speed and development and your uh, and essentially all the things that BIPO talks about. It's clear that the interrogation is there. And second of all, the argument in and of itself is that we have to interrogate these methods before we propose a policy. That means that the proposal of the plan that happens in the 1EC is the unique problem. And that is why you lead to serial policy failure. They have conceded a serial policy failure argument that is going to be damning and means that they have absolutely no hope of solving the affirmative even if I have nothing left on the flow because it specifically says that without interrogating your policy further and considering more implications than just its, and just its, than just its connection to race relations, that means you are all your policies are always going to fail and are always just going to lead to further oppression, which means you again could vote negative on presumption there. Then they say that there's no reason for my role of the ballot but there's also no counter role of the ballot and there's no reason against my role of the ballot. You should vote for the team that best finds acceleration because we say that acceleration creates the most unique and, and terminal impact scenario that we are able to resolve. Next, they say, they say that we should be able to weigh the impacts of the case versus the critique. Okay, first of all, no, you do not weigh the impacts of the case versus the critique because it's post fiat versus pre versus pre fiat because the the impacts of the the impacts of the critique are, are already happening right now because it is because it has fundamentally shifted our mindset on our conceptions of speed and acceleration and technology. And second of all, even if you weigh the case versus the K, we're still going to be outweighing because ultimately the impact on Virilio is a cyclical violence and a loss of humanity, which ultimately leads to a loss of life that they can never resolve with the case. They might be able to resolve this in some African American communities, but we say that this is a totalizing impact that outweighs on every single level. And the next argument they make is essentially that um we don't have a unique link story and that specifically this technology already exists, but I would say that our, our link story is actually absurdly unique in this instance because it says specifically the card that I read that says the insertion of the machine into the organic human body is what creates this acceleration of technology and this, the plan is a perfect example of an instance in which we are, in which we are inserting the machine into the organic human body and trying to make those things into one functioning organism, whereas they simply can't be. This creates to the acceleration and ultimately leads to the impact scenarios that I talk about. They concede the impacts page, which specifically says that the uh, acceleration of technology is going to lead to the displacement of cities, and it also leads to hegemonic and militaristic roots in societies that creates a climate for a total war that ultimately leads to a loss of value of life and, uh, and major death and possibly even extinction. These are 100% probable impacts, and that means you have to evaluate them first because probability is going to be the first thing that you evaluate in this round because improbable impacts should not be considered a face value. Second of all, these impacts are going to outweigh any of the race relations impacts because these affect African Americans and they affect other and they affect other communities including uh, communities that are in privilege it means that it is a totalizing impact on the alternative there's going to be a ton of perms that you're going to be evaluating on this on, on, on this alternative sheet, but it's going to be really easy for you to reject the perms and vote for the K alone because the alternative within itself cannot be permed. At the point in which you vote for the affirmative, we are not going to put their document into our Tumblr page, and it's not going to be put into the museum. I am essentially saying the only way that you can overcome and resolve these impacts is by uh, displaying the 1AC in the museum. So there's no way to overcome the links of the 1AC and still perm because I'm literally not going to post it on 
on Tumblr after this round if I lose. That has been my philosophy, and that has been how I've been running this critique for the entire year. Second of all, on the perm arguments, your perm is uniquely going to fail because when the object of a project is, uh, of a project is to increase its speed, the attempt to go faster always comes first, which makes critical reevaluation impossible. Baldwin two. Digital technology allows us to live much faster than our minds that we can in our bodies. Every space where we can make use of the time we want our bodies to assess and our senses to respond as quickly as our brains can process information. All theories of media imply a moment of accuracy and a the ground. Theory and perception we live at higher speeds and modern technological culture. Speed has been internalized in, and in itself in the ecstasy of the crash eliminates the internalization of speed. Real time suggests the need for speed in the effort to resolve this tension to drive with no outer, outer limit. Real time brings the identification of speed with online response time and process of power assimilating the user to the system. There is no upper limit when speed is uh, the coefficient of profit. The possibility of 24 hour real time stock flows shows how the conditioning of specific local temporal orders by the regime of real time. Real time refers to no specific time but a generalized time determined by response speed. No moment is fixed or present. Each tumbles into the next. Each heaven has already decided by the, the speed of real time. And then Second, they make arguments that essentially we have two con two contradicting uh, positions. We would say that they because they don't read condo, I'm just going to kick the second critique, which probably means that I don't have that. that I don't I don't still have a contradicting position. Second of all, they don't give you a single reason that these are contradictory positions. We said we could easily say that Virilio and and Zizek and other capitalist authors and other anti-cap authors agree on many of these on, on many of these arguments, which probably means that unless they prove to you with 100% certainty that these are conflicting advocacies, and there's no reason that you should vote against them. Next, they go for author index. And they say that our author is crazy and low-key crazy, but we would say this is probably some pretty ableist language and a, possibly a unique reason to vote down the debater because calling an author crazy and using and normalizing the term crazy probably is a uniquely bad for mentally ill people who exist not only in the debate space but outside of the debate space because the term crazy is just applied to people who have radical ideas. And finally, they say that we don't solve the harms of the app and that we aren't able to resolve the harms of the app, but we say that we definitely resolve the harms of the app at the point in which we prevent a complex catastrophe of total war, which is a conceded impact on the critique. So it's going to be case, then it's going to be the first criticism, then it's going to be the, um, I don't know where you flowed the rules stuff I had on my first criticism. Um, uh, all right, yeah, yeah. Like the, the five rules that I've written down. And then it's going to be that new sheet that was whatever you titled it. The counter proposal thing? Yeah. The only one counter cool, I just put on Okay, ready? First of all, in case he tries to say vote dang on presumption, and then he tries to make this argument saying that he's like moving, like I didn't answer these case arguments. One, I argue that these were just blippy arguments that were never actually warranted, maybe probably meaning you're never gonna actually vote there. You cannot just say stuff at the end of your timer when the timer's literally beeping and try to exp like to drop to that. Therefore, I still get access to it. And also, I argue that I literally extended my case to all answering of his like criticism. That was literally when I'm extending Walker in the Paul due evidence throughout the entirety of the speech. Therefore, I will get access to that. If I can show that I have any solvency, meaning it's already criticism, already a turn to the AF, meaning you're, you're always gonna vote AF on that question. Next, go to the framing. He's trying to say I don't interrogate, in, uh, interrogate the notions of it. I say extend across the Paul do evidence is the whole point. I'm saying your research methodology matters when making these apps, meaning I've already interrogated it. Therefore, he's not winning on that framework. Next, he says roll the ballot. He says I don't give you any camera, camera roll the ballot. Cody, yes, I goddamn did. That was the rules argumentation that I put on there saying that we should reevaluate the rules over this roll the ballot because he didn't give you any justification why he can just shift advocacy to whatever he wants later on. That's literally what he did in the round. Next, drop down to where he says K, like K versus rate, like yeah, K versus race in the fiat argumentation I say on there. When I say the research methodology, you're check backwards. This does not actually matter. It's the same mindset shift that's happening on the firm that's happening on the neg. When we evaluate Paul Do evidence, we evaluate the Walker evidence, and then we have to reevaluate our orientation to this topic. It means that we already did that question, therefore I'm already getting the same access to his framing on here. Next, drop down to the um, alternative on the first criticism. 
What? He doesn't actually answer back all of these very well. He just says that I can't perm because he's not going to go on Tumblr or whatever. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Cody. That's the that's the argumentation I read there from the, the NFA rules from 14 that literally say the prior need for uh, prior, prior need for research and study. There's no way to ever know when this alternative is going to solve because he says if he doesn't win, he's not going to post it. How do we know if that's even true? There's no way to know that. It's just further study mean that you can never evaluate the criticism. You can already vote him down there. He does not answer back any of these rule violations. So you can already vote him down there. Next, I argue that he doesn't actually solve the harms area of the affirmative. He just says that he doesn't give you any warranted, warranted out arguments to say that he actually does. Therefore, you can already vote him down on that rule also he cannot literally say rules do not matter read a topicality and then still violate rules pick one next drop down to the, the next perm he says that like yeah the perm yeah he says that the contradictory argument that's exactly where i'm going for the fact that i'm not able to point out contradictions because you can just drop out anyways it makes it impossible forever to be the firm because you can just skew um f ground next he says that normal like the that i never read condo i don't have to read condo first off i kind of did but i don't have to read condo those are exactly the rules that indicate that like you're just breaking rules and being able to just drop out any position making it impossible for debate I meaning you already are going to drop the criticism you do not evaluate the criticism which means i already win on f presumption i guess go to the second criticism he tries to kick out of this con like this capitalism one, but this is the exact proven abuse that I have on that second sheet. Well, whatever you called it, Cody, on this sheet. This is exactly the criticism that I'm saying that he can just, he only allowed to run con like one position because he's able to just drop out and kill all affirmative ground on there. I've already spent my time trying to answer that position. He just simply kicks out, it means that we lose all education there. That's exactly what I'm saying about novice debate. When a novice comes in debates, I have people running multiple conditions like this. It makes it impossible to keep up with them. It just comes to debate about who's the fastest speaker. That ruins all the educational debate in here. I Meaning you should reject the you should reject the criticism. He doesn't get options to choose which one he rejects. You reject both of them. You're not able to run those positions. Those are the rules. He doesn't answer back why rules are good, doesn't give you rules are bad. You can drop all of those. You vote app simply because I have an app that actually solves and he doesn't solve the harms area of those. I literally just made up name on the spot. I didn't remember that name. Neither do I. That's what I'm calling for more. So if you see that reference in the RFD, that's the best reference. If I throw the pen right at the webcam, you think they'll get a break? Huh? If I throw the pen right at the webcam, you think the people watching will get a break? Please do not. <laughs> Please do I'll use his. Nice. You can use mine. <laughs> By all means. <sighs> Why are you nodding your head no at me? Are people even watching this? Yes. I wouldn't watch this. Do you, do you have the names of the people watching this? No. <laughs> Who's watching this? What kind of nerds are sitting here watching this? <laughs> right? True. <laughs> I didn't even get an option to sign up for this tournament. <laughs> I just got an email saying you better show up. Did you have a card for that on case argument that you ran about RuPaul's Hall? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Bowers? Why would you do that, Joey? You got way better Bowers things TV? to do. <laughs> you got better things to do than that. Alright, so at the ready? Abel says he needs a closer microphone for LG. <laughs> Why are you watching Abel? You fucking Abel's weirdo. watching too? Yeah. Freaking weirdo. Oh, we got more people watching now for the RFD than 
And like, we'll just wait for it to be over. All right, so Neg makes a detrimental mistake in the one and R in assuming that kicking out of one of the Ks solves the offense on the multi-advocacy theory sheet. At the end of the day, Kevin wins this argument, and I buy that as a reason to drop the critiques. This just leaves the, the on-case argument about how he can't solve for root cause. However, I don't pull the trigger on that for two reasons. One is Kevin makes arguments on top of it. Two is it's not carded, right? If you had more warrants on it, I'd definitely be more willing to pull the trigger. But absent that, there's just nothing left to vote for me for. I think if you had gone harder on the Vera Loke and the multi-advocacy theory sheet, those should have been the two things that you hammered down, and it probably could have been a negative. Any, other, any questions? How do you evaluate the ableism arguments about like your author is crazy? Um, those aren't well enough impacted. I, I want uh, normally when I see that, I want to see specific framework giving me why yeah. I should evaluate this before everything else. But absent that framework as to why I should evaluate it before everything else, I default to evaluating for to evaluating the previous positions first. Did I not censor that when I read it? Okay. So like I would have sworn I looked at it real quick. I'm like, did I forget to change that? Definitely change it. Like that's that's the weakest part of the case. And that's the first thing I thought. That was the only thing that was missing on that for me to vote for. It was this is more important than everything else. Um, and on what was it? Sorry, I had a question. I just totally forgot. Uh, oh, on the like serial policy failure, you vote on presumption arguments. Do those like go out the window with the multi advocacy theory? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Cool. Thank you. No problem.